This is Seema Chandra. And she thrives on all things food. She nourishes her recipes, yet trims the fat. Always with a friendly chat. And then she eats guilt-free. There she will tell us the brands and oats of a wholesome breakfast. Take a look at breakfast around the world and it's calorie laden. Be it the British full on eggs and bacon, the American waffles and pancakes bathed in maple syrup, or then the Indian breakfast that can range from idlis to puris, from nihari to kachori, from parathas to thepla. For others, breakfast is a luxury they can't afford, time wise that is. It's either a muffin on the run or a simple coffee takeaway. Today my friend on the show is Bikram Jeet, someone who's been a fellow TV journalist, a well-known face. We frequently succumb to the same culinary invitations and while I have my notions of love and life, he claims to be romantically involved with food itself. He's one of those rare kids who was never told he never eats. His outlook on breakfast and on life in general is to see the sunny side up. I wish to alter his perception and introduce words like oats and bran into his refined existence. Time to go. Now breakfast ceases to be an important part of our lives. For most of us that is. It's something that we have on the go. But my good friend here believes that that's not the case. For me, I think breakfast is still the most important meal. I really gorge myself on breakfast. If I had a way, I would have the traditional breakfast, which is uh, luchi and aludam, but I can't make luchis. And I think it's a bit more time consuming. So I really am adventurous with breakfast as much as I can do, but I need eggs. So I'll make an omelette or a fried egg and uh, I think I'm going to be making something for you, right? I'll make you eat your words. All right. All your recipes. <laughs> so you sit down and let me start making this dish. Yeah, let me see. Okay, in this really fancy new year. So first, uh, olive oil. Because okay. it's the healthy option, right? Okay. It's very healthy. Ah. Into the... What are you doing? You're making me an omelette. I'm making you an omelette. Mm -hmm. And it's also a backup just in case I don't like your stuff. So at least I have something to eat. You don't make anything bread. polite, right? I'm very polite. You're not one of those who'll eat it and say, mmm, lovely. Okay, I'll say it if you want me to. Mmm, <laughs> lovely. I'll practice. But are you completely convinced that if you eat anything mm. that's remotely healthy for you, mm. it's bound to taste foul? I believe in balance. There has to be yin and yang. Mm. The good has to be balanced by evil. Yeah. So if, you know, the good of uh, bacon has to be balanced by the evil of broccoli. So you would eat bacon and broccoli together? Separately at different times. Okay, so a little salt. Okay, I'm using three eggs because uh, these are small eggs. Mm -hmm. But you can use two. That's your excuse. Three egg yolks full of cholesterol. See, if, the, if there is no yolk in the egg, and as far as I'm concerned, the yolk is on you. Right? Now we're going to lower this. Okay. And we're going to add some balsamic vinegar. That's interesting. It gives it a slight sweetness. Mm -hmm. And it also helps you nice. to give it a nice edge to the whole recipe. Is it reduced? No, or it's, regular? you don't need to. Just the normal balsamic. I think eggs are the most uh, versatile, one of the most versatile ingredients. I mean, you put it in everything. And they're the great. You're not watching what you eat, my dear. I am. I watch everything that goes into my mouth. This Absolutely. Is why I can't you look eat. at his size and you'll know. He watches what he eats. That's why he looks the way he does. Now, what are we doing? I'm putting the balsamic vinegared onions away because I'm going to now start my omelette. Because we're on guilt free. Yeah. So I'm making a healthier version. And traditionally, I would have put a knob of butter into the oil. Three eggs cheese and butter. This isn't the kind of breakfast that would hit the nutrition charts. But that doesn't seem to perturb my friend in any way. 
any cheese will do. I like slightly smelly cheese. Looks good even with the earthquake crack in the middle. How many toasts do you have with this? Four toasts with butter, maybe some cheese. Anyway, this looks good. I can smell it. There's silence. See the silence of good food. No? The silence of bloody good food. Pardon my language, but I like what the caramelized onions are doing to the... And it's caramelized with balsamic, which gives it that sweet nice. edge. And a bit of the emmental, which mm. has also got its own flavor. Mm. So it's nice and salty. NDTV's Cricket app. Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard. Special analysis. And much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.